Hey everyone, Luke here, aka Stone with Zach, and I'm here with another comic review. This time of Batman Haunted Night. Got this from my comic book shop um, at their old location before they moved. I never really, really sat down to read it yet, um, but I really like uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale's uh, Batman work. Uh, so I finally got around to it. Um, I didn't mean to um, read, review, and then post this video. Um, uh, for for Christmas, given that it's called Haunted Night, it's it's about a, you know, it has three different uh, Halloween specials. Uh, in this trade, but um, considering the circumstances, uh, prohibiting me from, from doing that, uh, just didn't really get around to it. Wasn't really prioritizing, so finally got, got it done tonight. Um, I had the last part to read the last annual. These were three different annuals that were done, I believe, in between 1983 and 1995, done for the Legends of the Dark Knight series, three different Halloween annuals. Um, the first one is called Fears, and it has this, uh, the Scarecrow. You can see right there. Um, and that, that, also, that, it, that involves, of course, Batman fighting the Scarecrow, but also a, new, a um, sort of a new, kind of mysterious... Um, woman in Bruce Wayne's life who isn't quite who she uh, would appear to be. And of course, given the fact that, that Batman doesn't really have a whole lot of um, uh, long-term relationships, you can kind of guess where that goes, but it's kind of it's interesting what happens to that. Second one uh, is called Madness. That it has uh, the Mad Hatter uh, in which he um, is kidnapping children and um, Basically, keeping them in, in his spooky house, and they're acting out the Alice in Wonderland tea party, weird stuff. Um, also, kind of weird is that the first two villains in in this trade speak in rhyme or in different kinds of, and wrote different like sayings. It's kind of strange. Scarecrow and Mad Hatter. I don't know if Scarecrow does that as much as I think Mad Hatter does in the couple stories I've seen. Um, um, of his, but it's kind of strange. But definitely, the best story at the very end was Ghosts, which sort of was a sort of a Batmanization of the Christmas Carol, in which um, uh, Bruce Wayne is confronted by three different ghosts: the ghost of his father, uh, the ghost of um, Poison Ivy, who, who I guess um, exists to show Batman his. Um, his childhood past, and then the Joker, who who, who sort of shows the future, I guess, or sort of the way things are now. And then a little special appearance by Death. Of course, it wouldn't be a Christmas Carol without that. Um, I, I felt like the artwork really progressed over um, over this series here. Let me get this up here. I'm really a fan of how um, uh, Tim Sale draws. The, the Joker. I don't know if that was his idea or Jeff Loeb's to have these huge, almost like piano key sized teeth. Very interesting. Um, and of course, I think I think a year after the final annual in this trade came out, they, they came up with um, uh, The Long Halloween and then Dark Victory, two really great uh, maxi series you should definitely pick up if you haven't read it yet. Um, as, as, for, as for the stories, I sort of gave synopsises, but um, I think they're, they're all pretty good. I think, despite the fact that it's a little derivative of a, a Christmas Carol, um, Ghosts is still the best in terms of art, and also I think the story is actually um, pretty good too. I'd probably give it a, um, I'd give it an eight out of ten. I feel like the last story really elevates it, where otherwise it, may, it might just be a seven, you know. But this is sort of the, the earlier work of Loeb and Sale and Batman. They definitely got a lot better with Long Halloween and Dark Victory, but certainly um, an interesting trade. Uh, and uh, let me show you the other book that I got from the library. It's kind of hard to see because there's a big old um, library sticker on it that they put. But it's um, a little skinny trade. It's uh, a little series called Midnight Mover, sort of a, a crime crime series in uh, black and white that's a little preview of what to expect next time hopefully i will take 
three or four weeks, however long it took it since my last video to actually post um, my next review. But thanks for watching. If you have any uh, any comments, uh, any recommendations on other uh, Batman runs you'd like to see me review, um, let me know as well. Try not to make them make everything I review Batman, but I have a lot of Batman stuff that I like and I want to review and stuff I have up here on the bookshelf and then other stuff that I'm curious about just haven't read yet. So definitely more Batman down the pipeline, but I'm going to try and break it up every, hopefully every two or three reviews while I'm playing for Batman rather than sort of overload you guys with non-stop Batman all the time. Anyway, uh, until next time, uh, happy reading.